Hi, we are going to use the sum product formula for solving linear programming solutions. In case you're trying to learn the Microsoft Excel solver for the first time, I recommend that you see the earlier video on MS Excel solver. That's an easier version to the same thing. The sum product formula makes it easier to write formulas for using MS Excel solver. Let's first understand how the sum product formula works. Suppose I have a two series of numbers. The first series 5, 7, 3 and 9 and the second series 2, 4, 6 and 4. I want to multiply the corresponding numbers of the series and sum them up. So I need to multiply 5 times 2 which is 10, 7 times 4 which is 28, 3 times 6 which is 18, 9 times 4 which is 36 and add them up. One way to do it would be to write a simple formula. So equals 5 times 2. I copy this with a control C and paste it on the corresponding cells. And then I can write a sum formula to add these four products to give me 92. An easier way to do this would be to write the sum product formula equals sum product, open the brackets, we select the first array which is C3 to F3, comma, we select the second array which is C4 to F4 and close the bracket. The formula here will multiply C3 by F3, D3 by D4, E3 by E4, F3 by F4 and then take the sum of the products to give us an answer of 92. This makes it easier to write the formula of a sum product scenario. Let's go back to maze furnitures. Now here maze furnitures makes beds in addition to tables and chairs and in addition to the earlier machine M1 and M2 they use two more machines M3 and M4. So, if you look at the table here, each bed takes 8 hours on machine M1, 12 hours on machine M2, 3 hours on machine M3 and 6 hours on machine M4. Similarly, for tables and chairs, the contribution for 3 products are 40 rupees per table, 35 rupees per chair and 70 rupees per bed. The maximum capacity of the 3 machines or the 4 machines is specified here as 250 hours, 400 hours, 300 hours and 600 hours. We need to figure out the number of tables, chairs and beds to make to maximize profits. So let's write the total contribution. The total contribution would be the contribution per table multiplied by number of tables, contribution per chair multiplied by number of chairs, contribution per bed multiplied by number of beds. I write the sum product formula equals sum product bracket open. I select my decision variables, comma, the second array of the contribution and bracket closed. So this automatically multiplies the number of tables by the contribution of one table, the number of chairs by the contribution of one chair, number of beds multiplied by contribution of one bed to give me the total contribution. Of course, in this case it's a zero. In case I was making one bed, the contribution would be 70. In case I was making one more chair, the contribution would be 35 plus 70, which is 105. Let's delete this. I copy the same formula here, which is a sum product formula, by putting a dollar sign on the decision variable so that I can copy it without rewriting the formula. Control C, enter. The formulas are copied. Here, if you look at this formula, it says C9, which is number of tables multiplied by the time the table takes on machine M1, which is 4 hours, 3 hours and 8 hours to give us the total capacity of machine M1 used up. 
Now let's go to solver. My target cell is of course the contribution which I need to maximize by changing cells, the decision variables, and to the constraints that the capacity used must be less than or equal to the maximum capacity available. We go to options, tick for assuming linear model and also select assume non-negative, OK and say solve. Alright, perfect. So the model here tells us that we must make 40 tables and 30 chairs to give us a profit of 2,650 rupees. Thank you.